hospitals generate huge quantities of waste including biomedical waste given the toxic and and the staff are generally exposed to high risks of infection including the most dreaded hiv and hepatitis b infections high standard of waste management therefore remains an essential input for the overall efficiency of hospital legislation on pollution control and the biomedical waste management rules 1998 have further added to the responsibility of the hospital administrator strictly followed as per biomedical waste categorization hospitals nursing homes dispensaries clinics banks and other healthcare establishments should ensure proper segregation of biomedical waste in the color coded bags before handing over for disposal to a service provider proper segregation of hospital wastes can only be done at the source of generation generation theaters dressing rooms wards labs and diagnostic centers such as items like cotton contaminated with blood and body fluid bandages soil plaster cast swabs bleeding organs human tissues amputated limbs placenta pathological waste infectious agents and carcasses red bags bins are used for storing the segregated wastes for autoclaving all plastic wastes contaminated with blood human fluid syringes iv sets plastic culture plates tubes catheters euro bags blood bags surgical gloves and all other disposable contaminated items other than sharp items blue containers puncture proof are used for storing the segregated waste of all sharp items including needles scalps blades tips of cannulas black bags bins are used for storing non infected wastes like general wastes such as kitchen wastes food wastes linen stationeries wrappers discarded non infected cans bottles and cups used for drinks general wastes are municipal wastes which are not handled by the biomedical waste service providers and it can be disposed of in the approved municipal dump by the generators